<laughs> How do I start this? Uh, okay. So, last time we did a great job and we combined all of the pieces into one solid part. So we have the bottom paw, we have the sides, we have the top. This is all looking great. On this episode, we need to do some housekeeping. We have some random long stray fur we just need to trim down. We need to add the big plush claws to the end of the toes. And then we also need to um, finish the top. So right now it's all open on the top. Uh, we're gonna do the big white piece here. So those three parts are what we're named for in this episode. Let's get started on the claws because they're gonna be the most fun. The key to this, I think, is gonna be consistency. So I've gone ahead and I've made a template to use for all the sizing. Uh, it's just a little pipe cleaner. The size doesn't actually matter. The important part is, is that it's slightly smaller than the claw itself. This is gonna be the length of our hole. And we're also gonna do double duty with this and make this the length of how far we're coming up from the bottom of the paw. So we'll do one of these together. So here's the bottom of the paw, and then here's our toe. I'm saying this is gonna be the, so you can get a good, good view there. That's gonna be the bottom of where we're making the cut. And we're, we're making the cut the length of our measurement. So it's gonna go down the seam here. So it's gonna end up right here. It doesn't need to be exact. So we did all the sewing here last time, and now we're gonna use the seam ripper to actually take this apart. Make sure you guys can still see. It sucks cutting apart this seam, but it's gonna be really cool having paws in here. And I'm not really worried about this too much because we're gonna cover this in so much hot glue, it's not gonna be a problem. Then we're gonna just insert the claw through the back, like this. And then now, as you can see, the claw is too big to come through the hole, but it still pokes right through the front. It's a little, it's a little wonky. Uh, and then now, once we can get everything kind of lined up again, we are going to smother it in hot glue. Like if you're making a grilled cheese sandwich at home, I'm just gonna cover it up. Uh, it might be worth it to use pins here too, but we're just gonna go in with hot glue. The good thing about hot glue is uh, it works really well. It's satisfying to use, it dries pretty quickly. It's pretty great actually, it's fun to use. It does smell kind of bad, so that kind of sucks. And we're actually just gonna cover the previous seams with that hot glue, so I'm not worried about it coming unraveled. So there we are, this is the back of it. We'll, leave, we'll let that set for a second, but we can already start to see the effect once we poke it through. Like, look at that. That's a, I mean, that's looking pretty good. We might worry about it coming, or uh, not being straight, but I don't think that's really gonna matter too much. Uh, at worst, we can always pin it in or sew it in if we have really have to come down to it. But I think this method is gonna work excellent. And then we're doing four per paw, so eight total. I have a whole crap load of them. I'll put it on time-lapse and then you don't have to watch me do a bunch of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and then you guys can watch.
So here is the finished results. They're looking really good. All their plush claws are pointing forward. I did do the trick like I discussed before, so there's a little bit of glue on the inside here just to keep them all pointing forward, as opposed to kind of like sprayed out, splayed out like this. Um, I also cut the wrong hole at least once. So when you do this, make sure you measure twice. So this is looking good. The next step that we're gonna tackle is there's a lot of long, random, like loose fur. It's like right here's one, there's some down here. If you turn it over, there's a bunch of long fur right here. Let's just go ahead and clean all this up. Do a, like a bunch of housekeeping. Let's just trim everything down. There's a few holes we gotta patch. And then after we get all that done, we can go ahead and work on the top piece, which is gonna go here. Hey guys, it's Waffles from Editing here. We unfortunately lost the audio for this clip, but I still wanna show you it anyway. It's actually really cool. So what we're doing here is trimming all the extra fur from in between the seams. We're just using the scissors and a simple feather cut to get it out. I also wanted to show you the two paws side by side. It really illustrates the difference between the unshaven one and the shaven one. It looks a lot better. Okay, I've gone ahead and flipped the camera to the other side so you can get a better view. Let's go ahead and clean this up. What we're gonna do now is we are going to take the pattern we created in like episode one, I don't know how well that's, that first part got filmed, but here is the foam template we originally created. It is the base for the entire shoe and the foam is actually gonna get replaced with polyfill. So really just gonna create like a fabric template of it. Here is the missing part we, we have left. So this is the top base right here, which is of course is gonna be flipped this way. This is gonna be the base in between the beginning of the digigrade legs on the ankle and the toes themselves. And then up here, we have the kind of start of the digigrade, or like the wedge in front of the foot. Um, this piece right here. And of course, this is gonna be flipped like this as well. And we need four pieces total, two for each foot. So I've gone ahead and marked all the fur directions. Nope, not yet actually. It's gonna go this way. And we're gonna need to shave this fur as well. So let's get all this out here. Grab our white fur. Here we go. And then this is the part I always mess up and I'm sure we've all done this a million times and you say, I'll never do it again. I'll draw arrows and they won't I'll remember, but ugh, gotta make sure everything goes in the right direction. And then we're gonna try to scoot this over a little bit more for you. Get that nice and center. So we're gonna go ahead and try to use the, the, the best we, we don't wanna waste our fur. So let's try to get this really good on here. Um, it's always like Tetris. Uh, let's see here. And we need seam allowances. I'll show you this cool trick I got. I learned this from oh, some fursuit maker up north. Uh, it's the guy in the Fursonas documentary. If you've seen that documentary, it's that guy. He took a pencil and a Sharpie that allows him to get consistent um, like fur width for like your seam allowances all around an object. So the, you keep it uniform. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, you can see this. So we're gonna go all the way around the edge. Oops. Just like this. And remember, take time and do this right because it, it's sort of like your accuracy carries through. As soon as you get sloppy in one part, uh, it can really throw problems up big down the road. We're also gonna make sure we mark our half, our center line here, and we're not gonna give that center line seam allowance. Then we're gonna fold it over. Just keep marking it. Keep it all the way around, keep it nice, even line. It's nice, consistent. And because I can always use that pencil as the marker, I know exactly where the pen should go. So that's nice, nice consistency. Um, we also need to make sure we mark the slits that we're cutting out so it stays flat. Flip it over, get the side too. And remember, we're gonna need two of these. So that is, and let's make sure we mark it all correctly. This is going to part B. This is going to part A. Our direction is going this way, which is what we got here. Yeah, and this top part is C. So A, B. And this is just gonna make it a lot easier to match the parts up. So we need two of those, and I need two of these. I'll go ahead and just speed all this footage up so you can just watch me do it. Uh, let's get working.
I do this literally every time. I need to shave this fur before cutting it. So we got everything knocked out. Uh, these are the parts we're gonna use. They're gonna go and connect like this. Let me grab the top for you. So here is the foam base. They're gonna go from here, and then a little digigrade pad up here, which is gonna get sewn together in all these little triangles. So you're gonna go here. So this is a pretty good, a pretty good spot. I'm gonna stop here for today, and then tomorrow, we're gonna go ahead and sew all of this together, and then connect it to the bodysuit. Call that an oopsie daisy. There's another one over here. This is a pretty tricky piece to get together. This is actually pretty easy to fix. Uh, we'll take exactly two seconds just to restitch it. But it just goes to show you that no matter how much you do this, it's still really easy to make mistakes. Uh, so the sewing machine is a lot harder than people give it credit for. It's, it's a total skill. They make it look so much easier online. So we got a mistake there, and we pop another one over here. So let's just quick zip, zip those together. So I've gone ahead and laid out our two parts like this. So this is how it's gonna go on the foot itself with the upper part and then the lower part. And this is gonna be the start of the digigree legs, like the wedge in front of the ankle, um, just for the kind of general form. So if we grab our paw, it's gonna be sewn in like this. So now we have to pin everything together, take the shoe out and then just sew it up. It should be pretty easy because it's just one big long piece Though, we will need to be careful about how this fits together. Because um, there's a very real chance that this doesn't actually quite fit. <laughs> so let's find out. So that's everything put together. We have the bottom paw pad, the front toes, the big plush claws, the top piece, and the back strap. For the next episode, we need to focus on finishing the back of this. So we need one large back piece here and then something to connect it to the bodysuit itself. I don't quite have a plan yet, so we're gonna spend some time actually theory crafting some ideas and we're gonna try on the bodysuit again, get a good feel for it and kind of plan from there. The idea I think right now is to have a, fabric, a piece of fabric here and then a zipper in between the two to connect everything together. We also need to start thinking about combining these pieces here. So we have the inner shoe with the kind of the base plate and then the, the kind of sock itself. We're gonna use something to keep all the polyfill inside the, inside the uh, slipper, I guess. So those are probably gonna be the next two episodes. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.